Samantha, I don't say this very darn often because I don't believe it, but this one time I'm going to give it to you. You're absolutely right. We need to bring the word douchebag back. Of course we do. And why am I? I'm never wrong. You're wrong, but not on this, not on this. <laughs> but here's the thing. I, when I hear the word douchebag, I physically see a douchebag. Oh, pray tell. What do they look like? There's two of them. There's a classy douchebag and there's a trashy <laughs> douchebag. It's like all things, right? There's got to be classy and there's got to be trashy. Of course. Trashy douchebag. He's skinny. He's skinny. He's got a little bit of facial hair. You know, that bit like I can't really grow anything, but I try. A smarmy mustache. Swarmy. He's swarmy. He's got like a tattoo, like an anchor on like one of the black anchors on his arm. <laughs> And he's holding a dog that looks mean, but could be really nice. And there's some gold chains. Don't forget the gold chains. Got to be a bit of gold there. The classy douchebag. <laughs> I'm going to say it and people are going to be mad, but it's got to be said. He is in blue pants, brown accessories, and a brown shoe. <laughs> and a brown satchel. He's got a satchel. He's carrying a Merce. <laughs> Probably got a Starbucks in his hand close by the computer. Uh, well, trashy guys got to smoke. Like, let's be real. Trashy guys got to smoke, but they both have the same message. They want you to know that they're right. and They want to put you in your place. Absolutely. Message is still the same. Classy or trashy. Doesn't matter. But you know what we need? We need to call on Karen. Karen needs to come and deal with these two jackasses. <gasps> okay, let's bring in Nancy. Got to bring them both. Karen bring and Nancy. Both. Karen, Nancy, right? Because she, <laughs> they both represent all the women. They need to put these douchebags back into place, kick them to the curb. Oh. Tell them, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare, you douchebag. Don't you dare. Oh, my money's on Karen and Nancy. Always, always Karen and Nancy for the win. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of I Shake My Head with Lisa and Sam. Hello, friends of the podcast. Hello, everybody. Bam, 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 bam. What? Take that. Take Hi. that, you douchebags. Oh, my God. <laughs> right? Because I'm all fired up after that. <laughs> right? When you just start talking uh... willy-nilly about douchebags, it's the best word in the whole wide world. <laughs> right? Oh, the 80s. You just keep giving. And you know what? If you don't want to say the whole world, the whole word, even douche. just to say, you stupid douche, douche. still is such a good word. It's still a great word. Yeah. Don't know where it comes from or what it pertains to. Don't care. Don't Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, Samantha. <laughs> but boy, it felt good, hey? <laughs> Feel all puppy chested? Oh, well, look at you go. <laughs> all right. I feel like uh, I feel like starting like things on fire or something crazy like that. Uh, I'm not going down. to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. It just felt good. It felt good to extra voice my opinion on the douchebag. Okay. Commonly just seen in your office places or walking through this town. <laughs> <laughs> they should do, remember from the 80s? Remember the or the 70s and the 80s? Remember on CBC they had those commercials? Hinterland. And it's like. <laughs> The duck in his element. <laughs> I remember that. Right? right? It was like every Sunday or Saturday commercial. Yes. In Canada. Mm -hmm. Right? Right? The, 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 the frosted colored owl. <laughs> right? And there was some weird cheesy music to it. And it told you like five fun facts about the frosted fuzzy owl. And you were like, that's so cool. You'd be uh -huh. like, right? The trashy, classy douchebag. <laughs> his element can be seen. <laughs> Careful, don't uh, approach. Yeah. And he's he likes to like what they have to say. <laughs> yeah. He likes shiny things. So be careful. <laughs> he likes shiny things, but you're not going to like what he has to say. Nope. Not at all. Careful. Careful. Never do. Treat, treat him like a goose. Right? <laughs> Proceed snappy, with snappy. caution. Proceed with caution. <laughs> oh. Hey, Samantha. Mm -hmm. Came up at my work. I got to talk uh -oh. about it. It's really minor, but I feel that this goes against everything that I feel. Oh, everything. Okay. I get may, may it's come in like a lion. Arr, it's messy. It's cold. It's crappy out. Right. Yep. But is it, does it make sense to just because it's cold that now we have to go back on all our traditions about summer foods and stuff like that. Like oh there's no God. need for soup and pasta just because it's cold. Oh, okay. We well, soup and pasta today. Like, like do we need, I, need soup and pasta? I had soup today. Oh. I had soup for supper. 
it. I get soup for supper in February. I don't get soup for supper in May. It's still <laughs> May. I had a hot uh, bowl of borscht soup yesterday and the day before. No, it's still no. May. It was delightful. It's May. There's no the hot food. Lisa, hot food this is thing. a this is very much a you thing and not an everyone else thing. I don't know. I don't know. I, the more I the the longer I live, Samantha, the more I feel there's more Lisas out there in the world than what we realize. <laughs> God forbid. Don't get me wrong. It could be a scary thing, but <laughs> I think naturally, naturally, people naturally. gravitate towards grilling and lighter fare in the supper, spring and summer right and they go a little heavier fall winter right but that doesn't mean that we totally set aside pasta or soup pasta 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 <laughs> it's even how you say it no it's how you say it like you're trying not to choke pasta 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 what's your how do you spell pasta p-a-s-t-a t-a pasta Pasta. 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 Pa. There's no A U like pause. Pa. Not pause. Da. Pasta. Da. Not P A U S T A. Okay. Stop it. I just stop I, it. Well, you derailed me, right? You don't be a douche. Me. You're being a douchebag. I could be a douchebag. I feel like you're being a douchebag right I now. I could be a douchebag. There's a third douchebag. <laughs> and she's and, and it she's, looks like Lisa. <laughs> it's most likely somebody's best friend. However, the, the role bag. of douchebag can flip-flop back and forth between <laughs> both parties. Depending there on is the day. a third neutral douchebag circling. Douche <laughs> <laughs> Always just wait to get in there. <laughs> just call me neutral douchebag, Lisa. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Okay, guess what? Okay, fine. I get it. I'm not going to change the world with my thoughts on food. Nope. I try. Yep. There's lots of great reasons why I'm right, yes. but that's okay. All right. I can't fight every battle, but you know what I am trying to do? Uh -huh. I'm trying to teach myself to ask less questions. How's that going? Not good. <laughs> not good. I'm not, sorry. Not that's the good. best today. Lisa <laughs> is not going to ask more. She's going to ask less questions. Right? Like, that was a message sent from God as far as I'm yeah. concerned. Well, problem is, is that God didn't give me the instructions. <laughs> he just gave me the idea. Oh. God did not send the instruction booklet with it on how to do it. Oh, that is unfortunate. Right? So. But what, that, the what road brought to hell you is paved with good intentions. intentions. But what brought you to that conclusion, Lisa? Because sometimes I know that I ask a lot of questions. I know me. I know that about me. But what people don't get about me, friends of the podcast, is that to learn is to ask. I, yes. I learn, therefore I I ask, yeah. therefore I learn. Uh huh. It's that's unfortunate. Like Freud or somebody, hey? That's yeah. Freud. No, not that's, really. That's um, somebody in a philosophy book. Nope, I don't think so. I think, therefore I am. <laughs> I ask, therefore Kay. I learn. That is actually a good quote. I know. Uh -huh. I just kind of used, it. I made another one. But Lisa, unfortunately, I think. That even if you knew the answers or somebody told you the answer, yeah. you would still keep asking a million and ten questions. Well, it is that in answer... your nature. Nope. It is in your nature <laughs> to drive people insane. Right? So you being around you and you learning something or being inquisitive. I'm and inquisitive. then, oh, but then there's mo Let's think about a moment, Lisa, where you have used your questioning to ways yeah. To dig yourself into don't, a couple of holes. Don't, don't, we don't have and to do this. Those questions <laughs> have let you down a path <laughs> of trouble. <laughs> yep. And and you know what? I have stood by and I've let you walk that path alone. <laughs> yeah, which made you a bit of a douchebag. <laughs> nope. That made me go, serves you right for oh, being an asshole. Because that asshole was asking so many questions <laughs> because they were trying to be like, <laughs> and it was backfired totally backfired doesn't backfire often but when it so, backfires it backfires so big it backfires totally just backfires so, so well yeah. that i talk about it for years later for years and years, years. you pull it years. out wherever you can <laughs> it's like one day you will have no memory but you will recall that still 
I don't remember who it was that did this. It might have been you, but somebody used to do this. That's going to be you one day. <laughs> oh my God. And I'll be like, that's, oh, right. that's so right. many, so many bad situations. Right. So I'm trying to, so I, so, so I woke up today thinking, okay, you know what? I'm going to try and ask less questions. Mm. So that's where I'm at with that. Congratulations. I'm not succeeding. <laughs> For the late, the late epiphany in life. <laughs> well, I'm not succeeding. I feel like I haven't totally bought in. Right? Yeah. I haven't sat down and made a plan. Oh, of course right? not. I still just go in with questions blaring. Yeah. yeah. That's who I am. Yeah. And you're exhausting. So that's oh. fun. That's fine. You know, you know, like really to know me is to love me. <laughs> Not an easy job. I get that, right? Or the need to strangle. It's, I mean, it's a fine line. Yeah, but I'm pretty happy go lucky. I'm pretty, I'm always in a good mood. <laughs> right? You know, right? For the most part. Uh, for the most part. <laughs> you know, my theory if, if out of 365 days, I pick one to be in a oh. pissy mood. Just deal with it, people. Please. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. St. Lisa, what did right. we all forgot? That's what I like to hear. Oh. <laughs> That's the angels. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's the angels. I got some yeah. fun news, though. Okay. Let's hear I it. I have a TV stand. Oh, you're all fancy now. I got a TV stand, and I built it. And I didn't build it by myself because it was too big. I got my yeah. parents to come, and uh, yeah. That was exciting. And I built a little side table and I got my TV up and it works. See? Nice. Eh? And are, are you like, just think next weekend you're never gonna leave the couch? I'm probably not. right. You're gonna get that couch is about to become bed. Yeah. That couch is that couch is that's gotta be John's next gift to you is a couch. <laughs> but I, I would not dear John. Be, you're John Jamingo, I would not advise you just doing that on the spur of the moment. Nope, because I don't want a couch. Darn, I want a chaise lounge. She wants I a want chaise, a, and she's I want a long, a loungy chair. She's been looking for this for seven years. Yeah, and has I just not haven't found the right one. For. But I, now I have a TV in my in my uh, bedroom. I have my small one there, oh and God, I'm like, you're never going to be on time. I'm for never going to leave ever. You're my never bed. Gonna... I'm, and then I'm just going to move to like the living room. Right. That's it, man. That That's is it. crazy. <laughs> Like hibernation just took on a whole new meaning. Oh, totally. Now That's you're just going to be, be awesome. like flipping the quarter. Which room should I hibernate in today? <laughs> I'm going to do mornings on the couch and afternoons in the bed. Yeah, because I might want a nap. Right, what are you, like eating some bonbons, you fucking little pampered princess or something? What the hell? For sure. <laughs> why not? That's, that's awesome. That's awesome. I'm glad you finally did it. Yeah, I can understand why people like big TVs. You get such a, you have a very clear picture. Well, let's just say, okay, in, 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 let's just back it up and tell the friends of the podcast. I actually have the picture of you buying your previous TV and it was when you turned 40. I know. And you're 55 <laughs> now. So and that TV a lot has been, changed in TVs. I know, but that 15 year old TV is still doing very well. For I know itself. we have one in our bedroom too. It's, it still does the job. doesn't do the job compared to the new one. No, but it does but. the job really good. If you don't have another frame of reference, <clears throat> this is true. Right now you're all, now you're all fancy. I'm all fancy. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So Saturday I went and got my hair cut. Can't tell. There, there, That's you, okay. You can tell because it's real. It's a little bit shorter. You can tell, but here's the thing, right? So uh -huh. Montgomery was having their yard sale. Yes. Oh my God. So here's the thing, friends of the podcast. If you're not Canadian and you don't live in Saskatoon, you're not going to really understand this. Let me set the, let me set the scene. Oh my God. It's a yard sailing neighborhood. It's a huge neighborhood. <laughs> streets and streets and streets and streets and streets and streets and streets <laughs> that have this big stupid yard sale. Uh -huh. And it happened to be on the day that I was going to get my hair cut because that's where our hairdresser lives in uh -huh. the heart of it. Not she doesn't live on the heart of it. Felt like the heart she of it. She lives on the street of it. Felt like the heart of it. You weren't nowhere there. near. She's at you the end there. of a street. You weren't there to see the madness. <laughs> you weren't there. There are people bad enough because you know how I feel about a yard sale. Bad enough oh. people are selling their shit. Uh -huh. Here's my garbage. Maybe you'd like to buy my garbage. <laughs> <laughs> but now they're selling. Now they're selling fucking food. Yeah. Egg rolls at this lady's yeah. house. Hot dogs for Guatemala. Blah 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 blah. blah. I'm like. 
what is this circus <laughs> that's going on? Oh, it's it's a famous garage sale that happens every year, the same time right? every year. People, I tell you, they park where they're not supposed to. Uh-huh. They unload their kids. They unload uh-huh. their dogs. They unload their <laughs> bikes. They unload their wagons. <laughs> and then they just walk down the whole middle of the street. Yep. And I'm a little car that's still trying to get through. <laughs> a little micro car. <laughs> My goodness. I hate yard sales. Uh-huh. I hate, hate the fact now that we're having yard sales with food. Sometimes Excuse people me. just want to be an entrepreneur and this is their way of doing it, Lisa. Selling some egg rolls. Are you yeah. going to buy egg? I'm not buying egg rolls from a stranger. I might. I'm not buying food. Did you, we learn nothing from COVID? I'm not <laughs> buying food from strangers. <laughs> God, it's, we, we did, we learned nothing. When you see all this mass hysteria over other people's shit, means we did not learn anything from COVID, no. right? Well, I'll take that. That's just, you were going to, here's the thing. You were about to, if I didn't come today at five o'clock tonight, you're throwing it in the trash. <laughs> uh, can I just pick it up from the trash bin when you close this hole? Or, or are they going to save it and try and sell it next year? So they're going to, they're going to hoard that shit that they don't yeah. want. Yeah. Why not? Pack it up, bring it back out. Absolutely. That's like they need then they need to take a class in retail because we know from our own experience, retail 101, <laughs> packing up old shit doesn't really do that well the next year. No, it doesn't. I've seen it. The Montgomery people, I've seen it. I saw it last year beside, <laughs> oh, you beside the egg roll lady saw the same toaster oven, right? And now it's the same price that even get cheaper. That's very, very true. I don't. It amazes me that the HHG loves a garage sale and a yard sale. Oh my God. Do you remember when she sent us on a, on a, like a scavenger hunt? Did she give us each $20? Yeah. And then told us to go find something. And then we had to, we had to bring it to her and we, and it had to make sense. And 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 one of us, yeah. And then one of us would win and I won. You won. (laughs) Cause I think I bought one thing for $20. Because I was, I did not want to participate. Uh, I hated yeah. the game. Yeah, you, got, you totally got into it because you, because because uh, you like that shit. No, I don't like yard sales. I'm not a really big fan of that. So I don't know, but it's in your blood a little bit. It's in your DNA. My mother loves a good yard sale. She, she does. does her own as well. I don't think she she's does. doing them this year. And she it's does a, a lot good of one. She does a good one. She always sets up an excellent garage sale. Right? In fact. <laughs> The family knows that she does a good garage sale, so everybody will bring their shit to my mother's right. house. They hoard their shit one. to bring to your mom's place, <laughs> right? right? <laughs> kind of so, crazy. Yeah. I would be all over that. Like if your mom's <sighs> like, and I'm going to sell sheet cake twenty five cents a piece and a cinnamon <laughs> bun for thirty five cents, I'm there. Oh yeah, I'm there. That would be yeah. my type of thing. I'm just saying. I don't. I. It's I a know. special type of person that likes a yard sale. This is true. Right. That's all. Uh, there's a special type of person who will watch the Met Gala as well. It's not it's not this person. No, I know. I didn't really watch it. I'm frankly kind of over it. Yeah. But there are a few interesting things. J Lo was a co chair and so was Zendaya. And they were dressed immaculately. It was they were they were quite uh laid out. They were okay. it was really good. Zend- Zendaya's actually was quite stunning. Um, and they looked lovely. And then the one funny thing that I did find was Jimmy Fallon was there. <laughs> he was all fancy in Dior. He was in Dior. Yeah. And, uh, he was talking to reporters and he's like, yeah, we're in Dior. No, blah, blah, blah. And he goes, you guys look good. You should be on the carpet too. And I'm like, of course, Jimmy Fallon would say that. Cause he's a good but- guy. Yeah, but everybody, I mean, everyone had their take on the theme. And some of them I thought were interesting. And some of them I'm just like, I don't understand what you're doing. It's, you know what? It's too, it's too over sensory for me. Yeah. My mind I don't doesn't know. get it. It's like a costume party, like a costume ball kind of type thing. Yeah, I get that. I get yeah. that. It's just kind of weird though. Hey, <laughs> it's a little weird. like, it's just bizarre. <laughs> Actually, one girl, I think her name is Tyla. Uh-huh. She her gown was so tight that there were three gentlemen lifting her up the stairs i heard like she crazy. was a doll <laughs> i heard that's crazy i heard that justin or jessica beale uh-huh. is that uh justin timberlake's wife i believe so yes sat in a 20 in a, in a salt bath 20 pounds of epsom salt so she could fit into her dress yeah okay i thought salt made you retain the water 
No, apparently it takes out the impurities and is that a diet? I don't don't and, try it. I have a tub. Oh my god. I have a tub. Would that make the difference between freshly washed jeans and feeling good jeans? Maybe just you know what? Don't. <laughs> That's all we need <laughs> is for you to be like I feel lightheaded. Splat. She's on the floor. I, yep. That's I, good. If that's the case, leave me, please, till I come to myself. And <laughs> oh, my God. Get myself clothed somehow. <laughs> yes, because that would be nasty. <laughs> that would be so nasty. That's a sight nobody needs to see. No, nope, nobody needs that, Lisa. Nobody. And I don't want anybody to see it because then you know what? That's awkward and it ruins our friendship. It just does. <laughs> it's amazing that our heart attack, that my heart attack played just <sighs> ever so nicely that it wasn't really too awkward afterwards. Well, I did have to go get your teeth. <laughs> I was okay with that. <laughs> I was okay with that, right? Girl that gotta was have a little teeth. odd. Girl gotta have her teeth, right? <laughs> yeah, that was that was odd. I had to get you all your teeth stuff. Yeah, right. And then and then some accessories. Yeah, right. Because I wanted like a hairbrush. Yeah, I had to right? get you slippers. I think. And... Yeah, my goal in the hospital is not to look like a piece of shit, even though I'm feeling <laughs> like one. <laughs> right. Oh, that's, that's true. Okay. This is an interesting thing that I never really thought about it till I heard it. And I'm like, oh, I might be true. Uh oh. The words sweetie and hun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are these patronizing words if they're coming from somebody younger than you? Oh, I feel that. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, I feel they might be. Why? Right? I was at a place and I was called sweetie and I'm like, and I looked, I'm sure she was 20 and I'm like, I'm not sure what if were I'm you loving doing? What were remember. you doing? I don't know. All I remember thinking is I got to write this down. This doesn't feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Why is someone younger than I me was, calling me I think sweetie. I was in a clothing store. I think I was in a clothing store and I asked somebody to get me a size and they said, yeah, no problem, sweetie. <laughs> mm -hmm. How about, guess what? Don't you dare. I'm not your fucking sweetie. <laughs> not your sweetie. And oh I'm certainly not your hun. Yeah, I'm certainly not your hun. But people use those words, uh, right? One sec, hun. One sec, hun. You probably would hear that like like at a restaurant. Yeah, maybe. You know? Can I yeah. hun, what, hun, how's everything taste? Can I take your order, hun? Is that coming from like <laughs> back in the day when we watched Mel's Diner? <laughs> right, right. And Alice and and and, and Flo. And Flo. Right? Kiss my grits. <laughs> Kiss my grits. But they were old ladies. <laughs> but they weren't actually old ladies in real they life. Weren't. They were quite young. Yes, they were. <laughs> Remember we did that episode? Remember where we found all those old people that like Alice Brady and all these people that were old and they were like actually like 10 years younger than what we were? Yeah. It's like, wow. Yeah. It wasn't good. It wasn't good. It wasn't, wasn't good. good. Yeah. I'm just saying, I think it might be a little patronizing when those words come from somebody younger. Younger. Yeah. Sweetie. Right? Like if you hear that, if your mom calls me sweetie, Different. that's endearing. Different. Different. 20 year old. At the at the clothing store, calls me sweetie. I'm thinking maybe I'm being a little patronizing, right? <laughs> oh my god! It just struck me as odd. That's <laughs> horrible. Don't use our words against us, younger generation. Stop right. it. And I, that's what I feel. I feel that they're Don't taking it. our words and using them against <laughs> us. <laughs> right? Don't you dare! Oh, don't you dare! Don't you dare! You oh haven't lived god. enough years to use sweet. You and I haven't yeah. lived enough years to use sweetie and hun. <laughs> Right? I don't even use those words in like normal day to day. Like, there's not a single situation that I can think of where the word sweetie is feeling comfortable coming out of my mouth right now. It's coming out of my mother's mouth to totally. her grandchildren, probably. Right. Only out of mom's mouths. Yeah. Endearing. Yeah. Not just out of anybody's mouth. <laughs> right. I'm sorry. Do you, can I see your card that shows me you're a mom? <laughs> Right. Oh you can God. be a younger mom and say that to your younger kids. Yes. That's okay. But not to an old lady. But you can't like you can't hey, say sweetie. that to you can't say that to us. <laughs> we apparently will be offended by it. So be careful. We will be offended. We are offended. We will be offended. <laughs> and if it's at a restaurant, it's going to affect your tip. <laughs> Oh my that, God. Because that's what we're doing, right? That's what we're doing at restaurants now. We're looking for any way to get that tip lower. 
right. All right. Um, hey, Lisa, did you know there's a new trend right now? Which trend? Sorry, choking. It's a brunch. <laughs> it's a brunch board. Oh, yeah. That sounds delightful, doesn't it? A brunch board. What would you have on your brunch board? Well, brunch like things. Like what? What would you pick? What is on Samantha's brunch board? Potatoes. Like cubed? Hash browns. Okay. Bacon. I'd, ha I'd have fancy French toast. You would. It feels like it's a French toast brunch board for me. It would be finger finger French toast. Like sticks. Yeah. Dip them. Dip them. Waffles. <sighs> Pancakes? I don't always love a waffle like you. No, I don't see I don't see a pancake going on a fancy brunch board. Oh. I see a brunch board being a little elevated. What the f does that mean? I'm in my fancy years. I don't know. <laughs> What's elevate? Okay, again, don't use a word that you're not sure how to use. And I don't know if you know you're not using it right because it's el I don't. If you can't explain how you want to elevate your brunch board, don't use the word. I want to elevate it by not putting pancakes on it. Okay. How about eggs? Uh, fruit. Maybe like, maybe a Benny, maybe an eggs Benny. An eggs Benny for right. sure. Some fresh fruit. Uh, croissant. 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 Which apparently we both were right on. How that <laughs> sucker. I don't know how that worked out. I'm like, uh, wow. What about a bagel? Nope. Why not? Because that's not classy. Yes, it is. Just a round ball. It, just a round circle of dough. Bagels are delightful because you can have any spread you want on them. Okay, what is more classy on your brunch board? Bagel <laughs> or croissant? So are you... Croissant. How about a... Do you have something against danishes then? No, I'm fine with danishes. Okay. What about so a I'm, strudel? Oh, I'm, strudel. Yes, get the strudel on there for sure. <laughs> you can have a strudel. <laughs> guess what? I'm going to go down on a limb and guess what I'm going to say? The donut's got to be on a side plate. The donut is not classy. That's why I'm saying it's got to be on a side plate. It That's can't be not on the elevated. Board. No, donuts don't belong anywhere. Oh, they belong in my heart. No, they don't. Yes, they do. <laughs> they belong in my they heart. They belong in my heart. <laughs> okay. So if I can't have, if if we can't have a bagel, you don't get a donut. Because donuts aren't any classier than a bagel. Okay, fine. Fine. I will have a bagel. I will have a donut when I go to the kitchen to refill the brunch board. I will take a bagel. I will take a donut and eat that. <laughs> oh my God. How about that? Or how about, how about the bagel has like fancy toppings or yeah. the donut has fancy toppings? Nope. I don't see either on there. Oh, cause you're straight up just a sprinkle. Is that what you're saying? I'm totally just a sprinkle. <laughs> but I think that croissant, croissant, Wins, wins. The board's only so big, Samantha. <laughs> the board's only so big, right? Oh, that's true. Well, okay. What about thing. an English muffin then? I don't think we need it. And I don't think we need it. Well, because we have eggs, Benny. We have eggs, Benny. But let's just do the, what's elevated with the Benny is sans the muffin. What about an omelet? And that means without. Okay. Don't explain <laughs> shit to me, please. Like, stop. <laughs> stop that was kind of funny no no that really. was kind of funny no okay, what, about, what do you say what about a what what about a muffin an omelet oh an omelet um i'll give you omelet yeah little 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 omelets though like little, like little crescent omelets little or quiches something. how about quiche i hate quiche no quiche on mine <laughs> no uh -uh. there'll be no quiche oh god you're picky there'll be no quiche fine yeah, no. But that's. Little, a, I see maybe, bacon, no sausage. Why no sausage? It's gonna roll all over the place. It's gonna touch everything. <laughs> it's gonna fall into things. It can be in like a little cup. You can put it in like a little cup. I guess you could. Okay, but right? it, it seems you just got like three chunks of meat on just standing up. <laughs> it seems weird. <laughs> you'd need that. You'd need to put it on a skewer yeah. and make it look pretty for it yeah, to be you on can my put it board. On a skewer. You can have yours in a cup. Mine needs to be pretty on a skewer. I feel like this is something we could uh, feature in the Boom Baby ba Bakery. And totally, we cafe. could. Totally, totally. Right? Eleva elevated for se for special occasions like Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Perfect. Right? right? The brunch board. There you go. Do you remember as a kid, do you remember the break apart popsicles? You mean the, like the ones we have now? 
but the kid ones, the break aparts. <laughs> you mean like the ones we have now? <laughs> the break aparts from back in the day? <laughs> like the ones we have now? <laughs> like the Gen X ones that you broke apart? <laughs> like the ones we have now? Like the ones where you take a dime and you'd pay a dime and you break apart them? <laughs> Oh my God, Lisa, they haven't changed. They've changed. Have they? They already come broke apart. Well, they come single. Yeah, that's broken. They're already broke apart. (laughs) Okay, so you want to go back to when we were kids in the 70s? had to break them apart? Yes, we had to break them apart. You had to like get them on an angle and break them apart? The break apart popsicle. Break apart. The break apart popsicle. (laughs) Yes, you had to use the side of a table to break them apart because they were rock solid. Right, because they were rock solid. (laughs) Those are the popsicles I'm talking about. <gasps> and then if, depending on the color you had, you had like a purple tongue or red tongue or right. blue tongue. What was your flavor? What was your favorite flavor? I always liked grape. Oh, so my mom, where we used to go get them as a kid in Stainer, we used to go to this little convenience store called Becker's. Uh-huh. And my mom always liked banana. Oh. And we used to be able to get break apart chocolate ones. Oh, yes. The chocolate was good. Yeah, chocolate was, chocolate good. was good. But there was never a blue one. Now they have blue ones in the, we are all, we've already broke them apart for you ones. Right? Here's the <laughs> thing, right? Guess what, dear world? We're not that lazy. You don't have to break them apart for us. <laughs> have we, have we, have we uh, done a disservice by making them individually wrapped? Should we make children figure out how to break apart the pot? Break them apart. <laughs> Right? Because again, today's generation, there's life lessons they're missing. There are. They don't know how how to drink from a hose. They don't know how to break apart a popsicle peat. Oh my my God, that's what they've got. Right? They don't know how to break apart popsicle peat. (laughs) And then save the sticks to make a little, little, little arts and crafts thing later. Oh my God, totally arts and crafts with that. They don't know how to do those things. No. Right? It's all it's done a, for them now. It's a sad, sad day when it's already broken apart. Here you go, son. <laughs> Here's your break. It's back in my day. We had to break. We had to work for these. And then, <laughs> and then, if they were so hard, you had to like your parents weren't going to help help you. You had to let them like melt a pinch. Yep. Right. And then, and you then had they to were so quick because then you had the other half still to go. Yeah, because they were melty, and then they got all over your hands, and then right. you were sticky. So now they just give you one because they broke them apart for you. <laughs> Now you get one. What if I want two? Right. Because then now you look greedy because you're taking two. And you're unwrapping two separate packs. Uh Uh-huh. We look like we're pigs. (laughs) Way to go. Way Way to to shame us. Way way to to shame us. Something so innocent like Popsicle Pete's (laughs) break apart (laughs) and make it horrible. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Thanks, life. (laughs) Thanks, life. Yeah. Right? Thanks, future, for screwing up popsicle peats for us. Right. You had to just take it and break them apart already. <laughs> <laughs> oh my hey, god! I'm shaking my head at something. Oh god, this can't be good. Have you been to the Dairy Queen yet this spring? No, I have not. So we ventured to the Dairy Queen. I'm shaking my head, Samantha, at the fact that two medium blizzards cost us twenty dollars. Uh, where'd they get the ice cream from? Right? Like, is it ice cream from God? Oh, my God. Is it gold ice cream? I'm sorry. I think I just had chocolate brownie and Mike had Oreo. It's cookies <laughs> and vanilla. Right? Mine is chocolate ice cream and chunks of brownie. Yeah. That you use in another dish. It oh, was my like God. 1995 or something. That is so expensive. So now, dear Dairy Queen is sending us a message, right? And that's just a medium. Now we got to get a baby one and that's not enough. Oh my God. Is that God's message to you, Lisa? You only need a baby one. Right. Because apparently you're cheap and you have an issue with the fact that the medium cost $20 for two. I had that very same thought the other day when I bought a muffin and it fell on the floor and I'm like, is this God's way of saying, Samantha, you don't need a muffin, right? Don't eat the muffin. (laughs) Or maybe you missed it. And maybe it was God's way of saying, Hey, do you remember the three second rule? Go, 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 Samantha, go. (laughs) Nope. Anytime my food is falling to the ground, I'm thinking God's sending me a message. God's sending me a message. He's saying, do you really need that? Right. (laughs) Because guess what? God stepped in and said, I don't think you do. I don't think you I don't do. think you do. <sighs> dear right? God, I get it. Stop with the messages. I get it. I too get it, dear God, right? We'll go to the baby blizzard or no blizzard at all. 
right? <laughs> right? Oh, point, so dear sad. God, point taken. Point taken. <laughs> Shaking my head at God. Right? Shaking my He's head just, a little bit at God. He is intervening everywhere. Stop that. <laughs> God. And here's the thing. I'm not asking him to. Right? It's like when he jumps into my emails. Get out. I'm not asking you to be here, God. <laughs> Oh, out you get, God. out you get, God. I have an I shake my head too, though. Okay. And it's about people who don't read the directions or don't ask for directions. I feel those are two very different things. No, they're two very similar things. <laughs> oh, I feel that they're not. I feel like they are. <laughs> Why would you think that you could build something or go somewhere without looking at directions? You yeah. have never built it before, nor you have you been there before. But somehow, magically, in your big brain, you're going to figure <laughs> out how to build this thing by yourself without any help or get where you need to go where you've never been before without any help. How do people live their lives like that? I am shaking my head at people who well, do not follow directions <laughs> or ask for directions. I'm shaking my head. I don't ask for directions because I use Surrey. No, oh, that's the same thing. Right? That's she gets me where I need to go. Then you ask for directions. You're just asking your phone. I'm asking my phone. Okay, mm -hmm. but today, for example, I had somebody return something back to the store, and it was a charger, and it like did. It was like a three part charger, right? So it did your watch, it did your earbuds, it did your phone. Uh huh. And she said, "Oh, it's not doesn't do the phone." And I'm like, "Huh?" So we're trying it, trying it, trying it, trying it. I'm like, I don't know. I said to the lady I'm working with, I said, "Can you figure this out?" I said, "It won't charge the phone." She reads it. She goes, "It says right here that the cable to connect the phone to the charger, it doesn't come with it." Oh. <laughs> I guess we should have read that. <laughs> Right? Case in point, folks. Case in she point. Just prove my point. Case in point. <laughs> just prove my point. Right? I did not read. I did not read. <laughs> I'm just shaking my head. I just don't know how you got I don't know how these people function. How how you think you can build something when you have no clue how to put it together or get where you need to go when you have no clue how to get there. Stop it. You just are not it. a brainiac. You are not smarter <laughs> than God. You are not smarter. Then You're not smarter. Stop it. You're not right. smarter than directions. You're, well, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> <You're not. laughs> Otherwise, you would have figured out you needed a cable for that. Right, Little right, plug -in. right. You're right, right. Eventually, I would have probably put two and two together. I highly doubt that. It just wouldn't have been in a timely manner. Okay. Right? Uh huh. All I right. Get what I'm you're, just, saying. you're proving my point all over the place. I get what you're saying. I get your point, Samantha. <laughs> Okay, but I got another point. Okay. Okay, so we know all about the Crocs, right? Crocs yeah. are everywhere. We like anti are we still anti Crocs this summer? Yes. Yeah. Right. We I told we're not bending that rule. Sorry, oh, sorry, no, Croc lovers. I can't. Podcast. Crocs are like a spring summer shoe. It's a rubber shoe. It's a rubber shoe. But what are Uggs? What are Ugg boots? Are they like the winter version of a Croc? 100%. Don't get me started on that ugly thing either. Why that became okay. Like Although, this, why did Crocs become okay? This big hunk of boot and that, looks like, that looks like it came from the Flintstone era. Yeah, it's an ugly boot. <laughs> it's not a good boot. I don't know. And then when people wear it, it's like clomp, clomp, clomp. They're so clomp. heavy and loud. And then they have like the shorter, the shorter Ugg. Right. Any UG. Anything they, called UG is yeah, and not then there's, good. But then there's a slip-on UG, and then there's maybe like a fancier UG. Like who knows how many UGs are out there. Don't you remember Remember somebody when in, in, a, in a lifetime ago where we worked, somebody came, was it a crock or an, it was like an UG, and it was like, it was a slipper with, it wasn't a moccasin, but it was like one of those shoes that had a little bit of fur. And they're a, like, it was a slipper. And we were like, it's a slipper. a slipper. It's a cousin of the moccasin, <laughs> and it needs to stay by your bed at home. Right? It was not a shoe. It, it was a, shoe. a slipper. <laughs> and you and I, she comes trotting in, and you and I, in unison, face down. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? Samantha, can I see you in the back for a moment, please? We didn't. And then, and then we had to break the news to her. <laughs> 
you can't wear that shoe to work. <laughs> Why not? It's not a dress shoe. It's, it's not, not a an anything shoe because it's a slipper. Because it's a slipper. Right? If I can see white fur, right? it's a slipper. Let me guess. Maybe we've jumped the gun. You forgot to take them off at the front door before you put your shoes on. Right? Did you bring other shoes with you? No. Right. Okay. Right. You can wear them for today, but you're not ever to wear them again. Ever, ever yeah. wear slippers to work again. Oh my goodness. And I believe we were, we were unbending and we were horrible human beings. And it's like, it's a slipper. Right. And it we're was 20... trying to schlep clothing here, people. Right. Right. And it was 18 years ago when you could still be like that to people. Oh. It's not like now where you got to be a little bit gentler. No, I would still say, I'm sorry. Why are you wearing a slipper? Right. <laughs> We might be more open to, is there a reason why you chose to wear slippers today? To wear? Did, you, did you hurt your foot? Is right? this why you're wearing this? Is that why you're in a slipper? Is this why you're in a slipper? I can't. Oh my God. It's like so I can bad. go right back to that exact yes. time and place. And I remember <laughs> who it was. So. Uh, <laughs> totally, right? Oh God. It's like, hey, thou shalt not wear slippers to work. No. Right? Sorry. No. Just but, word uh, to the wise. Word to the wise. Slippers don't go to work. <laughs> so I'm not sure about the UGG thing. I think anything that's called UGG is not a good good sign. It's it's. I'm sure it's comfy. Don't get me wrong. They say it is. That's its claim. I'm, to I'm like sure it is. But it is not. It's not pretty. It's, just like the Croc. Croc's right, not Lots pretty. of people wear them. And I get that. My kid sister has a pair. She loves them. Yeah. Yeah. I bet and they then, keep your feet warm too. So. But, but you know what I feel? I feel that people, they, they, they stretched the, the life expectancy of the UGG too long. They start wearing the UGG before UGGs are needed, and they wear them a little bit longer than they should be worn. True. In the, in the life expectancy of the season. Uh -huh. Right? Because yeah, I'm sorry, is an UGG, is it, back in my day, is it not a winter boot? <laughs> kind of. Um, let's be honest. People are already wearing sandals and flip-flops right now. And we haven't really seen a good day. We have not seen a good yet. day. We decided we're okay with the top of our feet <laughs> and an ankle, not toes. Oh, I'm not, we're ready, not ready for, for toes. toes yet, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not ready just, for toes. You can't just throw out your toes. <laughs> Willy <right> nilly. <laughs> you know what I was thinking the other day? I was thinking, and this goes back to your point totally, actually. I was thinking the other day that I think I would be the best at everything in the world if I just took the patience to read instructions. Yeah, you know, that's unfortunate for you. You have the patience of a gnat. So I know, right? It's you're never gonna be that person, Lisa. You're right? never gonna know everything because you don't have patience. I don't have patience, right? I wanna know everything. I want to be a sponge <laughs> that just laps it all up and learns yeah. it all. Mm -hmm. But then but then the problem is, is that I gotta learn it. Right. Right. And then do you ever have those days where you're just like, what happens if we're born with a predetermined amount of smartness? And what happens if we're almost at the end of our smartness? What if you're already tapped out? Like like, what if I'm, what if I am as smart as I'm ever going to be? <laughs> I don't know if I feel I'm a whole lot smarter than I was 35 <laughs> years ago. I might be craftier. Oh my God. You, you peaked, you peaked just out of college. I peaked <laughs> out of college, right? Suffered a few setbacks through university. <laughs> You're now on the downward slide. <laughs> the downward slide, right? I'm just sliding into oh my next my big God. decision will be pudding or jello. Uh, pudding, please. Pudding. Right? Pudding. That's where I'm headed. I'm headed to those type. What type of cereal? Oatmeal. <laughs> right? That's where I'm. I, what happens if that's like if that's where oh, we're headed? Well, I don't. I don't think so. I mean, I, mean, let's I be... get we can learn some. I get we're still learning stuff, but there has to be a cap. <laughs> like when do we just pop out and go? You know what? I feel I've been learning stuff for 55 years, and I think that's a long time. Yeah, I think when we get. Maybe perhaps a smidge older, Lisa. Like 60? <laughs> Maybe when we get into our retirement years, because God God willing, it's not 20 years from now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah. I think we will have hit, you have hit the window and we're sliding down and right. we've like, we're done. We're good. Totally. No more teaching. Like when, like, when do we start banking those smarts? Like, should we start banking smarts now? Like, like I don't, I know really want to learn about that. that. I'm going to learn it, but I'm going to bank it. I'm not going to really 
pay a lot of attention to it. No, I don't think you can bank smarts. You don't think you can bank smarts? No. You don't think smarts are a bankable object? Mm -mm. No. No, I don't think that's possible. They're just with you. You either got it or you don't. I guess, right? <laughs> it's tough. It's tough. It's tough. But you would be a whole lot better at things if you just read the instructions. I just read the instructions. <laughs> <laughs> totally can't even deny yeah, it yeah i got i my mother was like you don't you don't uh read instructions just like your father uh -uh. No, no 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 you're a reader i read you do you're i read from girl. start to finish yeah it's because you don't mind reading i don't like reading don't put I, instructions in front of me and try and make me not believe it's reading still reading. i couldn't possibly have put together the things i've put together in the last little bit without reading instructions yeah because i don't build for a living so right. i don't know it was like with some of our tech snafus right <laughs> i started and i'm like i'm done and then i read i, <laughs> I, read the I just jumped in with <laughs> I jumped in with both feet. I got yeah. this one, Samantha. I can do it. <laughs> and then you're like, no, I can't. Oh, geez. okay. All right. I'm, like, I'm going to go done. in and see what you've done. <laughs> I officially don't understand it, nor do I yeah. want to take any more time to try and understand it. And look who fixed it. And you fixed it. Yes. But don't say what it is yet. No, because I fixed, I fixed it because I read the instructions. Right. Not me. Not me, but I, but I tried it. The instructions were right there too. All you do is click on them. Hey, I know, but I didn't do that. You dig bat. Right. <laughs> oh, all right. So speaking of fun things, uh, do you add ketchup to your scrambled eggs? Always. Yeah. You know, that's the one egg I actually routinely will put ketchup on. I'll put ketchup on all the eggs. Uh, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But apparently, according to some report, 82% of people put ketchup on their scrambled eggs. Isn't that interesting, hey? Yeah. So do we I... really like eggs because we're smothering it with ketchup? Right, or putting cheese in it? <laughs> like, or, or, or adding like ham and making it an omelet? We're, we're do we are not eating eggs in the raw. We are not eating eggs in the raw. Because who just has? I'll have fried eggs. Not often. Well, I really like yolk, so I would probably eat it that way, but I would want to dip it in toast. Right, because you're a dipper. I, I, I'm all, yeah. I come from a long line of dippers. Right? You are a dipper. <laughs> I am a dipper, but not, not into an egg. I want that sucker fried hard if it's going to be I have fried. never seen you eat a soggy egg. You And you won't. You won't. No. I, I will <sighs> eat a rare steak before i would eat a soggy <laughs> egg oh my god you wouldn't even do that i don't think oh oh my god you, please one one day i'm gonna record you ordering a steak because it's like <laughs> medium well but not so well more to the medium it really it's pink in the middle i'm like it's all oh about the god. love like just like enough love for it to know that it wants to be well yeah. but then, and then it's not well and then i have to interject going she just doesn't want the blood to run from the steak when she cuts it and then i'm like oh I don't want okay blood. i want no blood on my plate please <laughs> Because last time I checked, I'm not a monster. Oh, stop it! I don't need to eat am I don't need to eat animal blood with my. It meal. actually tastes quite good. So blood, I'm okay without blood. Okay, I'm okay. I'm okay with it. But um, interesting uh, with the eggs. I don't know. Interesting. What else, people? Okay, our province, Samantha. They're oh, doing don't. some big shit. Oh God! There's a Sask. There's a Saskatchewan MP. That's a member of Parliament. Uh huh. And they're tabling a bill to eliminate paper straws because they're bad for us. How? Okay, please explain how paper the straws paper are bad for has us. has carcinogenics in it. Oh, my God. And apparently it can cause cancer. Stop. And Saskatchewan is leading the fight to bring back the plastic. Because <laughs> what's more important? No offense, animal lovers. Oh, my God. Turtle. People. Both are important. Turtle people. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I'm just saying, right? Turtles are important too, Lisa. I'm, not, I'm said there are, but people, <laughs> turtle, right? <laughs> right? Because oh 
The turtle doesn't need to swallow the straw. Why don't we just get, why don't we just make pop containers like that you get like the, the cups that you get when you get a pop from a, a takeout place. Yeah. Why doesn't the lid just pop open like a coffee lid? Why does it need a straw? Why can't you make the lid the exact same thing as a coffee lid and True. you just pop it open and you drink your pop that way? You could. Why can't you do it? Like, why are we making this more complicated? Why are we making this more complicated? Why are we right? bringing back the plastic straw when all you have to do is change the fucking lid? But here's the thing. I bet you out there in the world, there's people that are like, I like a straw. I'm like, I'll drink. And I'm not one of these people. They're probably like, I'll drink my coffee like that, but not a pop. Stop it. You it's drink out of thing. a goddamn bottle. Right. People it drink matter. out of their, their water containers. Yep. Yep. It, please stop it. You're at home using a water container. I am bad. I have plastic. <laughs> I'm apparently a little more environmentally conscious than Things you are. Definitely be killed because of this. <laughs> oh, <stop. laughs> oh, but you know what? That's not smart. Can we just, we need to ask this person to stop. I get it. I don't want the paper straw, but now we've lived without the straw. It's fine. Just change the lid. Right. Change, change the, the lid. lid. Right? Don't need a straw anymore. We're we're past it. We're over straws. You know what it is? I bet this is all political because the people who manufacture the cups for pop uh -huh. don't want to change the lid because they got too much inventory. They it's got too a bajillion. Hard. We have four bajillion lids. Yeah, because they're making money off the icky straw and off the lid and exactly. the cup. Yeah. So if we totally eliminate a straw. We eliminate part of their economy. What are you going to do, right? Their economic source right? of and then, income and then or hide, whatever. Hide your government. That was nice of you. <laughs> Way to create a hardship for, again, hardship for the human, hardship for the turtle. <laughs> oh, God. I need us to worry about other things besides a freaking plastic straw. Yeah, right? Fix a road. How about fix healthcare? How right? about how about no wait time for healthcare? How about, how about homeless no wait people time off the go? streets? Yeah. There's and in so safe much places. more to do. Right? Get there's, a goddamn a lot of straw things. back. Right? There's a lot. Like you, you, you tore the straw away. Just stick with it. <laughs> oh my god! Right? No. Oh my god! If that, I'm really hoping that was a practical joke on someone's part. I don't think it is. Don't get me wrong. I don't want cancer. <laughs> I don't want it either. But there are bigger fish to fry in this world besides that there is right i feel we can all live i feel the turtle can be safe <laughs> people can be safe and we can fix the roads all at the same time we can do it all folks we can do it all if i run for the next mayor that would be my platform turtle safe people safe roads fixed vote lisa gibson next mayor of saskatoon <laughs> That'd be a great oh, bumper sticker, eh? Yeah. Turtles where is, check. Where's Lisa? She's at the Tim's eating a donut. <laughs> She's eating a donut, drinking out of a cup that doesn't have a straw. Wishing she knew, <laughs> she knew where the turtles were. Yeah. Just and, wanting to know. And getting your roads fixed. That's what that girl's up to. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, the beauty of the internet is that, you know, it always brings you the best stuff. And this was something on my TikTok that I saw. And they you were and making tick, a girl in her TikTok. I know a girl on her TikTok. But sometimes I just go in there to find out what the hell people are talking about, right? I know. It's this fun. has been everywhere. And it's because some kid somewhere took a can of Schweppes ginger ale yeah. and called it show up peepees. Show up peepee. <laughs> I'm serious. I've seen the video of the kid. He's like, yes, and this show up peepees. And I'm like, what? Which is totally, it looks how it spells. Show up peepees. It schweps. <laughs> it but I can, But looking at the word, I can see show up peepees. <laughs> so there I've seen a guy <laughs> take the show of peepees and it's like <laughs> i have my show of peepees in my truck i am drinking my show of peepees on the ground here's the show of peepees underneath the tire of my awesome. truck. i'm good. like this is ridiculous and then someone did a parody oh, to the macarena that's song the best about show of peepees Dun, 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 dun. I hear a shower -wa peepees, dun, 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 and I hear you shower -wa peepees. -wa peepees. <laughs> yeah, shower -wa peepees. <laughs> hey, hey, ginger ale. <laughs> That's so, awesome. I'm like, okay, this is the gift that keeps on giving. Like, thank you, kid, for mispronouncing 
a word or, that we all know what it is for not just sounding it out. He probably <laughs> had his mom say, sound it out, Ryan, just sound it out. <laughs> Show a <laughs> peepees. Right? <laughs> Stop. Right. Oh my God. <laughs> I like if this kid was, I don't know. Anyways, thank you. That's it made awesome. me laugh every time I see it and I see the parodies and everything. I laugh. So Sometimes thank you. you TikTok. Yes. Sometimes you need that. Okay. I'm taking us back to the 70s slash early 80s as a oh. kid. Okay, Gen X kids here. Uh -huh. Did you have, and I'm just saying it, somebody on Facebook, I don't know who or if it was a friend or if it was something I, somewhere in my travels, I saw this in a picture. Uh -huh. Did you ever have those clogs that had the buckle and the sole of it was like, like a wooden slide? It was like wood. Yeah. And it just had like that little piece of like fake leather. Yep. And a big buckle. Mm -hmm. And you literally like, but it was open toed. It was like wearing a Dutch shoe. It's but it open toed, like open hard, toed. hard, hard, <laughs> hard. Cause it was just a piece of wood with a piece of thick polyurethane yeah. that stuck, held it onto your foot. It was horrible. And I saw that picture and I'm like, where the hell did those guys go? Why have they not made a comeback? <laughs> Right? I'm surprised that they have it because clogs kind of came back. They're probably banned there because they're like a weapon. Well, yes, like, you could kind, cause bodily injury. Right, injury it's kind of like, sure. like, like a cousin of the nunchuck almost. <laughs> right? Because it's just a chunk of wood. A cousin of the nunchuck. Like I had those. Everybody had them, right? Came in red, white, and blue. The little piece of fake leather. <laughs> the best i remember i ugly, and they were ugly i think my my mom might have had a pair oh i feel like my mom wore them we did you not you guys didn't have them no because oh, we, we were too young no we had them my aunt might have worn them nice for sure my mom though but like mom had like, clogs for sure my mom had clogs oh, clogs 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 are making a comeback i know right i i think i would love a clog Everything's making a comeback. All the 90s trends are coming back. Big, big coats, Can't baggy pants. Your, everybody seeing your underwear from your pants. Right. Hey, I finally, finally found my cargo jean, friends of the podcast. <laughs> oh, God. And I hate it. Because <laughs> it doesn't go with anything. Uh, right. It does go. It doesn't because it's an acid wash, and nobody told me when I. It's sent not them the an picture. acid. Oh my god, I can't. It's acid you. wash in real no, life. It's, it's not. acid wash. Yeah. No, it's not. It is. No, it's not. It totally is. I dare you to take a picture and put it on the Facebook and show. People. I will. I will. I think that they don't show in a picture like acid wash, but <laughs> on the bed before they go on my body, acid wash. You know. Only Remember, you and I sent you pictures saying what sweater goes with them. <laughs> You're like, I told you. I know you said every one of them. And I'm like, yes, they didn't. And yet they did. I tried them on. I'm like, I look mismatched. I do not look like I match. I look like a mess. I don't know what she was talking about. <laughs> oh my God. You bought them all by yourself. I was excited. Yes. Cargo they pants. Were cargo and they weren't too wide. <laughs> no. but they got a lot of stretch in them so after the first wear <laughs> god apparently there's some legs in there still <laughs> i feel they were not my best investment no okay 89 dollars. holy got them from the gap holy mm -hmm. sweetie figure. can Go i get figure. your sign sweetie yeah sweetie <laughs> sweetie maybe that's probably where i where it was Right? Walking into the gap, one no. of these things just doesn't belong here. It was me. <laughs> I felt that the women shopping there weren't oh, me. Yes. I felt that the young girls working there weren't me. I'm like, <laughs> where's me? Am I here? Where do we belong? That's a good question. I don't think we do. That's why I'm going to still wear last spring spring shirts. <laughs> this spring. Uh, yeah. Right? Well, uh, if it still works, why not? Right. Who knows? Why not? Okay. Is. But let's talk about Facebook Tuesday. Okay. Because you I'm decided. Okay yes. But you decided to do sports. And I was like, okay, let's see how this goes, folks. You said to me, are you scared? No, <laughs> yeah. I am not. Because <laughs> no, I added curling and golf. <laughs> <laughs> and you omitted soccer and figure skating. <laughs> I totally did. 
<laughs> as brought to us by Luke. Luke's like, where's soccer? Good point. Where's soccer. Good, Good point. point. Oops. Good point. <laughs> um, I think everybody hated curling. <laughs> I know. Canada's favorite pastime. And everybody hated golf. Yeah. I felt I felt it was going to take the heat off of baseball. Uh huh. Well, no, not many people hated baseball. No, I think there was a few that didn't dislike hockey, and there was some dislike for basketball. And there was a lot of people who just dislike <laughs> all sports. <laughs> all sports dislike. All sports dislike. All sports dislike. Okay. All sports dislike. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But you know, you can't have them all, Lisa. Just tried something different, <laughs> and you're just figuring it out. Figuring it out. Just trying something new. Trying something new. I tried to mix it up three yeah. years into one's got to go. <laughs> oh my God. We're going to be like, uh, we're going to be like the wheel of fortune, the world's longest running game. <laughs> one's got to go. <laughs> Probably we are going to be the longest running game. Yeah, that's okay. It's fun. It's good times. Um, I do want to mention, John did tell me that the Phillies are beating Toronto right now. Yeah, I know. They were beating them before we started to record. Yeah, because... It wasn't good. No. You know what? If there is not a firing tomorrow, <laughs> Jays fans are going to lose their fucking shit. And I can't even sugarcoat that so it doesn't sound horrible. That's how we feel. <laughs> That's how we feel. Oh, yeah. It's not yeah. good. Uh-uh. And I what was going to talk you... about, we were going to talk about the fake fan later. Let's just talk about it now. Because where the hell have you been during our 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 last like twelve games when we've lost nine of them? I have been not in hiding, but it may look like I'm in hiding. Uh huh. Like the douchebag, they can they can they can just blend into their surroundings easily. <laughs> I watched with like the, I was so ago. disappointed. I was weeks so ago. disappointed weeks ago. It was last Friday. <laughs> And last Friday, I watched the Blue Jays <laughs> lose to the worst team in the league. Yes, yes, and that, I believe it was a quadrillion to three. <laughs> probably similar to tonight's game. I left. I left to join you with our podcast, and it was eight nothing for the Phillies. Thank God again. Yeah. Thank God for you. And you said no. We will not be part of a bet because I'm like sure we'll bet. Games on tonight. And you're oh, like, they oh, suck. I would on. never, ever, ever be part of that bet because I know they're going to suck. <laughs> I watched them suck inning after inning after I know. inning. It's not good. I'm like, catch the ball, hit the ball, <laughs> do something with the goddamn ball. Right? Is no. there a ball involved in this game? Is there a ball somewhere? Where did this picture come from? Why is why what is why are we still hanging on to him? The I know nothing. Had a lot of questions. I know nothing about Toronto, and I already knew after the other team started scoring multiple times. No. Shit wasn't going well. Not going well. <laughs> Not going well. Not going well. <laughs> right? I get more support oh. from Tina. Who sends me an Instagram message every now and then? <laughs> she does. She supports you quite well. And totally. frankly, I wouldn't. I would not support you because I think Toronto sucks, and I don't know if they deserve my attention. Well, still, we're only one month in. <laughs> we're only one month in, and 140 games to go. Oh, don't just don't. Okay, just don't. Don't be like this. Don't be this girl. My goodness. Oh, I can't help it. Oh, oh my God. It's horrible. It's really I know. So, just so they the world suck. knows, friends of the podcast, we have a Blue Jays bumper sticker <laughs> yeah. and it's on our fridge. And it says Blue Jays on one side and on the other side in black marker, it says Boo Jays. <laughs> it's been turned over to Boo Jays for quite some time. Uh, for quite some time. I'll probably be posting that picture probably tomorrow on my Facebook page. Oh, Boo yeah. Jays. It's not good. I know. I'm just, I try. I tried. I actually got very excited about hockey when they did well. I know, right? Let's just see, right? Like, I'll, I'll, I'm not going to call on you right now. There's no point. There's no point. They suck. I'll let you know if there's a point. I'll keep you posted. You're on a need to know basis. That's what you're on right now. <laughs> Perfect. Right? Works for me. <laughs> right. Totally. You're on a big fans on a need to know basis. <laughs> 
Um, okay, guys. So if you want to interact with us, because why wouldn't you? Uh, we do have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. All you have to do is search I Shake My Head with Lisa and Sam, and we are there. We do have YouTube, so you can search for us on YouTube. And we do have Patreon, which is patreon.com slash I Shake My Head. For as little as $2 a month, you get the episode early and an extra episode every month. But we do have a fun announcement. <laughs> <laughs> we have a website we have a website we have a website, website. We, we followed everybody else and we got a website <laughs> so listen up guys this is where you can find us look up all the episodes check it out all leave a review place. you can leave us a voicemail you can join an emailing list well we'll send it a newsletter right it's all gonna of it. be so exciting and please know that we do want you to go seriously and check it out (laughs) we do so guys listen up the website is www.ishakemyheadpodpod.com that's all you gotta do that's that's where you're gonna find everything it's a one-stop shop you can listen to us there on Apple. You can listen to us there on Spotify. You can listen to us there on Megaphone. You can, you can see our most recent tweets there. There's still some things we're still not sure about there. There's we're still, fi- we're still we're, it's a we're, work in progress. It's a work in progress. We're still working it out, but the good stuff is there. All the episodes are there for you to listen to. You, you can, can go to any review. You can yes. rate the show. Yes. So you can leave a voicemail. That would be exciting. Hey guys, come on. Apparently now this is how Sam and I communicate back and forth (laughs) with each other. It's your voicemail on our mutual website. (laughs) (laughs) Because I left her a voicemail yesterday. You stupid asshole. I figured it out. (laughs) I left you a a voicemail saying, I'm still mad about the friendship bracelet, you jerk. (laughs) You're going to have to suck it up. That's how we roll. That's how we roll. But we're very excited. excited. Yes. So again, guys, uh, our website is www.ishakemyheadpod.com. Yeah. Check it out. Check it out. And you want to, because that's where all the cool kids are going to be. All the cool kids are there. Already the two coolest kids are already there. (laughs) Why wouldn't you want to be with us? Why wouldn't you want to (laughs) join, right? You're going to join up. You're going to get a newsletter from us. Oh my gosh. Like the things we can dream up now. Right? (laughs) Right. We're going to be doing, we're going to be taking care of all those things on the eighth day of the week. (laughs) You're going to get a list of Lisa's weird summer foods. (laughs) All the things you should be crossing off your groceries. Right. Right. Just one more place to find us. That's what you're going to be. Yeah. You're going to see my grocery list one day. Who knows? Fun. Right. Us. They're going to see our lake list. Yeah. Oh, and you know what? You can get a list of, Hey, what's Sam watching now? Right. And all our videos are there too. So yes, come join the ride, right? It is literally a one stop shop as we figure it out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Samantha. Uh Uh-huh. Shaking my head again. I know. Shaking my head at Domino's, right? We talked last week about Domino's, about how it looks so good, but does it deliver? Mm -hmm. The Gibsons we tried, it don't deliver. (laughs) It does not stand up to the test. I feel that the crust that they're using is so, so thin, even though it's just a regular crust. Yeah. And it was disappointing. You know, Lisa, you guys are now eat out aholics. We're trying not to. Next week, we're not going to be. We're done. What the fuck, dude? Well, we didn't do it for 25 for, years. Yes, for decades. <laughs> you didn't eat out ever. It was okay. like an... It was like like the most special occasion like got New, you that New eat Year's out. Eve, New Year's yes. Day. It it just didn't happen. I know. And I now know. you guys eat out way more than I would have anticipated. Right. I know. We gotta reel it in. <laughs> reel it back in. <laughs> oh my god. But Domino's <laughs> does not taste like the picture. Nothing ever does though. Oh, the picture looks so good. I know. And then you so get it and you're like, doesn't taste like the picture. It doesn't so shaking my head at Domino's, not tasting like the picture. Yeah. Little yeah. Caesars is like that too, though. They all are, right? You know which ones aren't like that? Like like old fashioned, like the Granada house, the Venice house. Yeah. Those those are the ones, right? Like old like school. When, like where Nona's make Nona's pizza. Right? If Nona's <laughs> making it, it tastes good. Nona's tomato sauce. Yeah, Nona's tomato sauce. That's what's missing on all these pizzas. Oh my god, big chicken. 
Oh, big chicken. With, to, with the tomato sauce. Yeah, and bad wine. And bad wine. Right? But Which that draws big us away from the big chicken. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> yeah, bad wine. Really bad wine. Okay, I got a nice shake my head, though. All right, hit me, hit me. I am, I'm coming up with some interesting ones. I'm shaking my head at how, kind of to your point about garage sailing, is how we go to estate sales and look at dead people's things. Yeah. It surprises me that we go to these things and we rummage around people's personal belongings. And then all of a sudden we're buying a picture of them. Like, for instance, Christy Alley. Okay. Her stuff went up for, and they had a big, huge estate sale apparently last week. Yeah. And her stuff was up for auction. And there were personal pictures of her that were up for sale. Like why? Why? Why, why? why would you leave with a picture like, of well, Kirstie Alley unless you were a super fan? Right. Like Kirstie Alley eating cereal. I'll take that one. I don't why? like, it just seemed odd. I mean, and then there was like, I saw pictures of like dresses she's worn and things like that. And like, I all I thought was this is odd i never thought of it as odd before odd. but because there were so many personal personal things yeah it's like nobody wanted personal pictures of christy alley in her family in her family like, 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 why nobody? did the family take a few of these things right like when my mom died right everybody took a little something yeah when it came like, to clothing i'm good keep it right i just thought that was so strange it's weird but that's what people do right they buy dead people's shit i know it's actually so one step, weird it's actually worse than a garage sale it is a little worse than a right? garage sale because i don't know like like they dead now <laughs> they're dead they're, they're dead right they're dead right they're dead I don't know. It doesn't make a lot of sense. No, it does not. It doesn't make it, but it's a good one. It makes me feel that you've been out and about. <laughs> you've been reading or out and about. You've stumbled upon odd things this week. I have. I know, right? Which is interesting. Making for some good conversation, Samantha. Oh, thanks for the compliment. Right? Because I was boring before. I never. Why you got? Why do you got to take my words and twist them into something ugly? <laughs> why you got to do that? It's a fatal flaw. Fatal flaw. That's not a fatal flaw. It's a fatal flaw. Okay, so Whoopi Goldberg, right? She's got a new biography out. Oh, yes. I saw her on Good Morning America. Called Bits and Pieces. Uh-huh. What do you think? You're going to get it? it? It could be really interesting. I think she's interesting. Uh-huh. Right? And I love a biography, like stuff I can learn. Right. Right? So, But then here's, but here's my dilemma, right? I have been known to read a physical biography or autobiography. <laughs> yes, you have. Right? I have been, but then I got onto the trend of getting the audiobook version. Oh, problem with the audiobook version is once I pay for it and I download it under my phone, I never know where it is after that. It's in your downloads. I don't think it is. Yes, it is. I don't think it is. Or you have an app on your phone that has like audiobooks. I don't think I do. Yes, you do. I've never been able to find Prince. Oh Harry my again. God, read the directions. Like, like probably five books. I cannot <laughs> find five books. Once I go to bed and they stop, they're never to be found again on my phone. You know what? You should just maybe look up your phone and read some directions, Lisa. No, I'm not going to. I know, because God forbid. Right? But isn't that weird? I have a phone that doesn't save that stuff. When after yes, I, they, yes after it I've does. Bought it, no, after you just I've don't know where it is. Right? I go to the website. I buy it. Yeah. It's on my credit card. Yeah. In my ears one night, go to sleep. Next day, it's disappeared off my phone. Oh, totally off my phone. So, it's not totally off your phone. So I'm 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 hesitating on making that investment again because <laughs> I get mad, right? I'm like, again, it's another audiobook I'm never gonna find after the first day. But do you ever get past the first chapter of any of the audiobooks that you've downloaded? No, because I don't retain anything, right? So so, so that was, that's always the problem, right? Is that the next day, if I ever do find the book again, I'm going to have to listen to it every single night, starting over and over. Cause I won't remember. Oh my God. That's a bad repeating pattern. Right. Cause I don't retain oh, things like that. No, you don't. Right? Like I don't retain, I retain the, not that type oh, of stuff. Right? That is so weird. So no, I would never be able to tell you a single thing about what I've just read. All right. Cause 
it's gone. Just like the audiobook, gone. Maybe you could ask your husband to maybe find it on your phone. He has he doesn't have an iPhone. It can't be that hard to go looking for stuff on your iPhone. I don't know. I feel it's it hasn't just happened one time. Okay. <laughs> it's not just one, it's not <laughs> one trick, it's not the first time. Oh, okay. I'm gonna say. You know what? I'm just curious. When I'm always curious when people don't move out of the way, when it is literally the only option for you to get around them is for them to move. And it's like they act surprised uh, when you say, excuse me, or they look at you like, where did you come from? And it's Why like, is that? I am right here. I have been here. You have been like a statue. Move, move, move. Why are they out just the standing way. there? Yeah. Get out of the way. <laughs> it's like, I encountered that in my building and I'm like, I'm coming off the, off the, the, the elevator and I've got cardboard and everything. And people are standing right in front of me. And I'm like, move, move. <gasps> Why are you right there? And they're like, Oh, and I'm like, seriously. Yeah. Seriously. But that's, that's the worst thing with elevators. Cause it happens at the hospital all the time, right? You come off the elevator and there's just people there. Why would you just stop right there at the elevator? That's a, that is a mode of transportation for people. <laughs> You're not just stopping your car on the highway. Nope. Right. Like move <sighs> people, move. move, get out of the way. I get that. I get that totally, Samantha. It makes no sense. You know what though? This is something really cool. So, so I saw on a friend's a friend's Facebook today. Uh, her name's Julie Wallace. I grew up with her. Played ringette with her. Uh huh. She had a picture, a delicious looking picture of a beet salad. <laughs> and then it just made me think. You know what? We have done a disservice to the beets. We don't do anything with beets other than pickle them or put them in a salad. We need to find better. We need to elevate the beat and give the beat its due. No, we do not. The beat needs more. The beat needs to do more. The beat needs to get the beat out of here. No way. Uh uh. Uh huh. And I'm uh -huh. with the beats because if you watch The Masked Singer, <laughs> the beats just got eliminated. Oh, who are they? Ruben Stutter and Clay Aiken, which no! not, to, not to toot my own horn, toot toot, guessed it right from the beginning because Clay Aiken's voice is so recognizable. Distinctive, yeah. So when he sings, I'm like, Clay Aiken. Oh. Really, really good at this show, hey? Yes, you are. <laughs> really good. But they were the beats. <laughs> they were the beats. They were the beats. And they were, of course, my favorite, right? Because they were the beats. Uh, yeah, the, the 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 beats the beats. How how do two American idols not go through? I don't know. Makes no sense, right? <laughs> right. But like, hey, I ride my skateboard uh -huh. and sing in my ear pods. I get to go through. <laughs> I don't know. The beats. The beats shouldn't have gotten. Eliminated. No. So it got me thinking about beats. And then is I that a salad? Uh-huh. Is that a hint for, for Sheila to like make some beats? What does Sheila need from me to get this beat process going? <laughs> encouragement I'm prepared to give. <laughs> like, go Maybe Sheila. some encouragement. Go, Sheila. go, 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 Sheila. Go, Sheila. Right. Go, Sheila. Like, does she need a mason jar? I can I can find one. I'll bring it. Oh God. I'll give it to her. Here's my mason jar. Could uh... I have beats, please? <laughs> please, ma'am. Could I have some beats? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know if she's going to can this year. I honestly don't know. I don't think she canned last year. She didn't. That's two years, no cans. Yeah, I don't know. Can't she just whip know. me up some beats? I don't think it works quite that way, but. Just pick a few beets, make them, cut them up, put them <laughs> in your little pickling <laughs> sauce, sauce them. Sauce them up. I, I will give you the jar. <laughs> Right. I feel, I feel Sheila and I can work on this. I think you're going to have to talk to her. I'm going to have to, I guess I'm going to have right. to pay Sheila Sperling a visit. Okay. Um, I was on TikTok uh -huh. again, cause that's where I am. And <laughs> I came across, um, unlearn 16. She's a creator. We call her Joe. She's from Canada. She's from Ontario. Yeah. She was on our and podcast. She was on our podcast. And, uh, I, I always come across her stuff and I listen to her, but this, 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 this one TikTok caught my attention because she was talking about the presidential election Ooh. and how it works. Absolutely. And I'm like, 
I stopped and I'm like, I'm curious. Please do explain. Cause I've I been trying to explain this to you for years. I know she did it so well. Oh. <laughs> you know what? She's entertaining. I'll give her that. She knows what she's doing. She knows totally. how to talk to people. She's smart. She was so good at explaining the hard stuff. It made it fun. I knew, I know that there's electoral colleges. I know that they need, there is 430 votes and that you need 270 to be, the, to president, be the president. And it breaks down into per state. Some, states, so carry, more, yes, some states carry more weight more than, than other states. Other states, which is why it's always California or Florida. Gotcha. <laughs> and right. I was like, oh my God, I get it. <laughs> and I'm trying. like, friends of the podcast, Joe? I've been trying to teach Samantha American <laughs> elections. Since I needed. I started watching American elections. I needed the super teacher. I needed unlearn she, sixteen or Joe, a, as we like to call her. She is a teacher. She is fantastic. And by the way, I don't know if you've caught any of her stuff. Um, she might be opening up her own school. Oh, I did not know that because they're closing down Metro, oh, the place where she's teaching now, because yeah. the gentleman who ran it passed away, unfortunately. Huh. And she's thinking of starting her own private wow. school. And maybe I'm like, need, um, yeah, you should do that. Maybe we need to bring her back on board, catch up with Joe. I don't know. Maybe. Right. I just, just I learned a lot these last couple of days. And I'm She's like, Joe, you've been busy. I would personally like to thank her for teaching you American <laughs> politics. I finally I, understand it. I used to just walk away going, how, what does she mean by how can you watch this shit? Because <laughs> it's stupid. It's not stupid. It's so it good. is stupid. So good. Dear Joe, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay, but here's something. Speaking of kind of about politics, Samantha, this is Canadian politics, friends of the podcast. Oh. Federal employees. Oh, people are gonna. I can hear the squawking now. Federal oh, yeah. employees are being mandated back to work for three days a week. Oh, people, people want to be mad. Well, because they got to spend time can doing all the things they used to do. Commuting. Don't make it sound like it's new things. It's all I the know. things they used to, used to do. <laughs> Right? They used to have to find somebody to take care of their kids. They used to have to get in their car and go someplace. Yeah. Right. The, all the things that they used to do. I feel like getting them back into the building means that they're tired of paying rent on a building that no one shows up to. Totally. Right. Like we wonder why our downtowns are dying. Right. And why city economics aren't what they're supposed to be. Like uh -huh. there's nobody eating in the restaurants that are because the buildings are empty because mom's at home. Yeah. Right. So I get it too. And, and again, and you know me, I don't take a lot of stands on a lot of things, but I'm a firm believer that when COVID started, they did not anticipate people to never go back to work. No, I guess not. In a building. In a building. Right. I feel it was, <laughs> it was a short term plan that they came up with to keep you safe from dying, uh -huh. not, not to just enjoy working from home for the rest of your life. I get there's bonuses. I get there's benefits. I get there's great things to it. Uh -huh. But there always would have been great things to the theory of working from home. You I think there's pros. You just didn't get to. Yeah, there's pros and cons to everything, right? Totally, right? Just depends what that company wants you to do. And apparently the federal government wants you to go back to work. I to go back to work. <laughs> In a building, it's at a desk. Time to go back to work, people. <laughs> that right? should be interesting. I know. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, since you like talking about the mass Singer, Lisa, do you feel the need to talk about Idol? Oh, I'm mad at Idol. Mad. Why are they? Why? Because they're down to the final five and all the crappy people are in. Oh. <laughs> There's some conspiracy that I get. The world loves yeah. Loretta Lynn. She did. Yeah. Country icon's dead and her granddaughter can't sing. Why is <laughs> Emmy still in it? You know that song um, that the HHG always likes? It's, uh, oh, what the hell does it go? It's like a fast song. It's that, uh, that come on and dance with me. You are my destiny. Oh, shut up oh. and dance with me. You know that song? It's a Stop. fast song. But yeah. you know the song, right? Maybe. She's, you do. It's a fast, fun <laughs> song. I don't know the tune. I'll, I'm going to give you that one. <laughs> but it's a fast, fun song. The band's called like Jump at the Moon, Bark at the Moon, Shout at the Moon. Okay. Some, something about something the moon. moon. It's a fast. You know it. They play it all the time. Okay. She sang it slow at a piano oh and got to go on <laughs> america voted they love your grandma enough to keep you in for another week you just don't like her i don't like her you just don't like her 
and watch she'll win she'll win probably i remember the years of american idol when it was okay to say you know what emmy you keep being told to get away from the piano. We're going to need you to listen and get away from the piano. Oh, is that what they're telling her to do? Yeah. And then she says, but I get nervous. Then you're in the wrong show. You're, <laughs> you're, on, the wrong, you're on the wrong show, right? I get you get nervous. <laughs> but you're on the wrong show then. You are on the wrong show right? then. They should have nipped that back in the auditions. Kind of seemed cute. It's not really that cute now. Uh, not if you, I mean, I get when people get like nervous before they get on stage. Totally. But you can't keep using, you know, guitars or pianos as a right. crutch. I refuse to listen to everybody because, and then, and Katy Perry yeah. called her out this week and she said, Hey, weren't you going to do that a little bit differently? She's like, Yeah, it was a last minute change because I got nervous. Oh, I America see. voted. They loved that excuse. <laughs> they loved it. We'll see you next week in the top five. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Lisa is very judgmental today. Totally. I'm a little, I think I'm judgmental every day. You are. Some days it's nicer judging. <laughs> I'm not a fan of this girl. No, you are not. I mean, I'm sure she's sweet. You know what? It has not held my attention. So I only know vaguely what you're talking about in this yeah. girl. But honestly, none of them. The one show that I actually watched longer than five minutes, yeah. I was like, Ugh. there's no voice. No, I was like, Bleh. and they have no they have no lung capacity. They have no air. They're <gasps> like, it's like. <laughs> What have we become? Uh, I'd rather watch the mass singer. I'd rather watch a weird character, right? You'd rather sing watch a song. the gumball machine <laughs> sing a song, right? Like, like Emmy, right? <laughs> sit at the sit at the piano and try not to cry as she sings. Yeah, I. You yeah. know what? Everyone needs their chance, and that's what American Idol is. It's the somebody's it's chance. Yeah, and I am being harsh. I know. But if you're waiting for me to apologize for that, it's not happening. <laughs> oh, yeah. Those it's just not coming out. It's not my cup of tea and I will not watch it. So I will finish it and then that will be the end of it. <laughs> We're done. We're done. We're done. <laughs> All right, guys. We would love your feedback. Uh, so if you want to send us your comments, you can go on to our new website, www dot i shake my head pod.com and you can sign up to our emailing list and you can email us there you can send us a voicemail or if you'd like to send a comment to ismhead at gmail.com you can do that too and honorable mention to Brittany nobles who emailed us again i saw that and told you, us Brittany. how wonderful we were <laughs> she's good she's a nice she's a good girl yeah so we got comment from her about the podcast this past week um, Kelly Foster said something on yeah on TikTok about it. Our friend Carrie, yes, Carrie, who, who we thought was in last year still. <laughs> Remember last week we thought she was in last year, but we apparently like, she's caught up. <laughs> she's caught up. Remember when we were like we couldn't remember her name. We knew her name, but we couldn't remember her name. And we we're yeah. like, fine, we'll have we'll have a whole year to explain it. And she's like, uh, <laughs> nope. You don't. And it's like, no, nope, oh, you don't. The hell. <laughs> right. So, yeah. So, guys, you know how much we love it when you reach out to us and we do, you know, email you back or message you back. So, just, you know, reach out to us. And, you know, if something caught your eye or you have an eye shake my head or anything like that, a comment anything. about the podcast, just let us know. An idea for Facebook Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> that would be helpful. <laughs> helpful. Um, and just a reminder, guys, that we actually do have swag. You can go to Threadless, which is www.ishakemyhead.threadless.com. And we want to thank, yeah, and we want to thank John Jamingo for putting together our podcast and our YouTube stuff. So, guys, another shout out to the YouTube. Um, we're just trying to grab some more subscribers. So, if you want to, yeah. you know, go up there, sign up for it. Uh, watch us as we, you know, do our thing. Um, tell people about it. People might want to watch us. Might want to watch us. Yeah. You know, watch me give of... Lisa the finger throughout the whole podcast. <laughs> watch me give it back. <laughs> we both are actively wiping our noses. Yes. I don't know what today is. Just drippy day. It's like I said, everybody's excuse. It's allergies. It's allergies. It's allergies. allergies. It's allergies. You're behind. It's just allergy season, Samantha. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, Samantha. Well, this was a fun day. Yes, it was good. Always fun. Always. And you know what, Samantha? Always a pleasure. <laughs> it should be. Who's a pretty girl? I'm a pretty girl.